Hey, what's up guys? JP here with JP Barbecue. Welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Today we are going to be making some top blade steak subs. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to show you where this cut of meat comes from and how JP puts it together. Check it out. What I have here is a portion of what's known as the top blade steak. The top blade comes from what's known as the chuck section of the, of the beef. And According to a lot of people, this is probably like the second most tender cut of meat you can get. Uh, the other part of meat that comes from the chuck section is what's known as flat iron steak. So but what I got, me, got here today, I got it from my local grocery store. It's known as the top blade steak. Uh, a lot of butchers call it the 114D cut. And uh, if, if you can see here, it's got a lot of intramuscular uh, fat connected with the with the muscle so I'm hoping that this cut of meat comes out really good and we're gonna make some uh, subs out of it so first things first I'm gonna take some of this uh, skin off the back or this um, silver skin they would call it and we're just gonna lightly take it off being careful not to cut too much into the meat and this is really a nice piece of uh, meat. You know, what I've seen so far uh, online is that a lot of people use this uh, for making, I guess you can use it to make fajitas as well, but it's got a nice, nice cut. And we're gonna hopefully make some really nice uh, subs out of it. Just finish getting all this skin off of it and then we're gonna cut it up into small little pieces thin sliced and make some subs out of it there we go that's not too bad and we got all that off of it. All right, here we go. We're going to try to cut some thin slices out of it. And we are cutting uh, against the grain and there's a lot of debate in regards to which direction you cut. Do you cut with the grain? Do you cut against the grain? I'm going to cut uh, against the grain. That means Perpendic my knife is perpendicular to the way the muscle fibers are running. If you think it should be cut differently, do me a favor. Down in the description in the comment section, you know, put something down. Tell me, you know, hey, you should have done it this way, JP. But this is the way I'm gonna do it right now, and we're gonna see how it comes out. You know, there's a lot of debate in regards to okay, well, if you cut it this way, it'll be more tender. If you cut it this way, it'll be more tough. You know, we're gonna see what happens. And this is USDA choice, by the way. It's not an expensive cut of meat. So I'll finish cutting this up and I'll bring you guys back and show you what we're gonna season it with. All right, there we go. Got it all cut up nice and thin. And what we're gonna do next, put a little bit of olive oil on it. And we're gonna be using our JPA peel all purpose to uh, season this meat with. A little bit, we'll sprinkle. Let's see. Oh man, this salt, pepper, garlic, JP all purpose smells fantastic. We're gonna get this top blade steak seasoned with this all purpose. And we're gonna let it sit back in the fridge for a little bit. And then we're gonna fire up our Camp Chef griddle and we're gonna cook this steak up and make some fantastic subs out of it. You guys stay tuned and show you what it comes out like.
guys, these top blade steak subs are done. It's time to cut into it and see what it's all about. And let me tell you, uh, I sampled just a little bit while it was getting cooked on the griddle and the meat is very, very tender. I love it, I love it. I think I'm gonna buy more of this stuff and because uh, it's just good, it's good. You know, and this is just choice meat. But without further ado, let's cut into it and see what it's all about. Here we go, it, it looks great. The cheeses, I put some smoked provolone on mine. And just look at that, look at the cheeses. The cheese and the onions, got mushrooms in it. And I did put one jalapeno in it just to spice it up a little bit, just to kick it, just give it a little bit of kick. Let's go ahead and, whew, I don't know where to start. Let me just grab this one right here. Get it all pushed in there. And let's just take a bite. Oh man, look at that, would you look at that? Man, does that look good or what? My goodness, look at that. Nice and juicy and moist. Let's see what it's all about. Mmm. 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 Guys, woo! There's that, little, there's that jalapeno, feel it a little bit. It is good, I gotta get a napkin. This is the best sub I've ever made. Uh, tastes really good. The top blade steak, chopped up finely like that. Sauteed with my JPAP seasoning. Got some onions in it, got a jalapeno in it, got some mushrooms in it. And that provolone cheese to top it off. Fantastic, guys. Tastes wonderful. Do me a favor, guys. If you like what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button over there. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you really like it, uh, click on that bell as well. And uh, that way you'll get future notifications of upcoming videos. But besides that, guys, uh, if you're interested also in any of the products that, that I use or sell, down in the description, there'll be a link to my, my online store and to my Amazon affiliate. But besides that, guys, I appreciate you guys very much, and I will see you on the next cookout. It's time to eat.